Hi everyone, it's Regina here. How are you doing today? Um, guess where we're at? <laughs> a cemetery. I just want to show you some pictures of who's there. Isn't that great? I love that. I love coming. I just like the pictures. Let's check this one out here. It's like we have Sar. We have a Michael. 19, uh, let's see. July 31st, 1953 to 2015, December 25th. Oh, Christmas time. Check that. That is Michael. He passed away, and that's his wife. His wife's still alive. Her name is Victoria. Oh, that's neat. I just love the photos. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, look at, here we are. Let's see this one. Looks like we have a Heather Mae Miller. Oh, she's young. That's Heather Mae Miller. She was born June 15, 1980. Passed away October 8, 2006. There is a beloved daughter and sister. Oh, bless her. Sarah, or Heather, I mean. And there's an angel. I love angels. Angels, I, I love. Let's see what else we can find. Uh, let's check out. Huh. Let's see, guys. We're going to find one here. I look at the back of this. You know, do you guys ever look at the back of a stone? It tells a story, too. Check that out. He must have been a truck driver. Roll on. Okay. Look at this. This is, I cannot pronounce that. Looks like Kuzmat or something like that. Here we have a little one. Looks like we have Marion Depke. She was born in 1913 and passed in 1921. Six or seven years old. That's sad. Then her parents are over here. Looks like we have Mom, Anna, from 1892, 1981, and then we have Zachary, the father, I'm sure, 1894, 1976. Wow, she was young, poor thing. All right, let's check out some more, okay? Such a beautiful cemetery. I mean, this place is huge. It goes on for days. This is one little section over here. There's, like, a ton, tons. It goes way over that hill. Everywhere. Starting to sprinkle. <laughs> Never fails. Can't have a nice sunny day. But it is September, so the weather is changing. Let's go around this side here. Across this little street. Something must have been buried because there's some dirt over there. Dug up dirt. So they must be either going to put somebody there or something. Or they dug somebody up. Here we have some faces over here. Let's see these. Yeah, I gotta get my stabilizer. Let's check this out. We have a, it's like we have a Chris Rowell, Roll, right here. Chris. She was born February 28th, or no, 29th, 1964. Passed away April 9th, 1990. Young. I wonder if this is her mother, Nancy Shackett. She was born May 20th, 1939. Passed away uh, July 11th, 2011. Wisconsin Badgers, yeah. Okay. Here we have... Oh, another picture. Sorry. Put the camera up here. I was looking at it. Here we have a very young girl. Looks like a high school picture. And that's uh, Andrea Lee. Rush shots. 1974 to 4, 13, 18, Psalms 31. Wow, that's beautiful. She was young. Beautiful girl. That is sad. I'm sorry. Oh, it breaks my heart. These young ones. <laughs> Let's see. You guys see any more faces? Huh? Keep a lookout. Like I said, this can go on. For I can, if I had uh, the, my camera together here, I bet I could walk this for three days and get half of them. Oh, what we got here? Here we got a Kim. That's Kim. That's Kim Snooty. March 9th, 1965. December 13, 1987. She was young, too. Then we have, looks like David. That's been her husband. That is David. And looks like he was born April 24th, 1962. 
passed away October 28th of 1992. Wow. That's sad. Close to me, you know what I mean? They passed away kind of close together. I mean, he went, she went, that's sad, or she went first. Let's see here. Isn't it beautiful? I'm just amazed. They do keep it nice up here. They keep it very nice up here. They have paths you can walk on up here so you don't walk on. Because I will not walk on somebody's plot. That's just disrespectful. Let's see. Oh, looks like another picture, guys. Let's go over here. It's kind of cool here today. It's only like 80, 70 degrees. I'm cold. Here we have a dentist on his Harley and his wife. Dennis W. July 3rd, he was born, 1955. Passed away July 26th, 2015. Debbie's still alive. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Here we have another person here. Oh, another young one. Another young one. We have a John Andrew Jekyll. May 15th. That's my son's birthday. 2003. Passed away February 10th, 2018. Young. So you worked on a farm. Bless you, John. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I guess God wanted you more than anybody else. There's a lot of Jacobs up here. Let's look for the pictures. I just adore the pictures. It tells a story. If I knew the person or knew how they died, that'd be awesome. Here we have a very young one. Looks like we have a beloved daughter, sister, mother, friend. We have a Lori Ann Askey, May 3rd, 1955, December 25th, 2015. At any rate, she must have loved her animals. Dog and the prince, that's cute. Bless her. Here we have another picture. Let's check this one out. Holstein. Looks like we have a Phyllis. Phyllis is still here. She was born December 9th, 1950. And then we have Richard. He was born February 27th, 1948. Passed away March 30th, 2005. Oh, beautiful couple. Parents of Christopher, Aaron, and Michelle. Married November 11th, 1972. Hear them birds? Every time I've heard you, crows. Blackbirds all over kind of creepy. <laughs> Shh. Quiet. Hush. <laughs> Let's see if we can find any more pictures, y'all. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We have a beautiful lady here. Looks like a, memor a memorial to Tammy L. Leach. May 13th, 1960. Passed away February 10th, 2003. Beautiful smile. Looks like her mother passed away. May 28th, 1938, she was born. Oh, maybe not. She's still alive. And the father's still alive. The daughter passed away. You know, I always said that. I would want, I want to go before my children. I never want my, I would never want to bury a child. Especially my own. That would be heartbreaking. I couldn't do that. I, I'd, I'd lose it. I have three kids. If I lost one, I would lose it. I could not. There's some more pictures up here. Excuse my sniffles, guys. My allergies this year have been off the charts, and I don't know why. But here, we have a young gentleman, very young, so he likes trucks. It's like we have a Lucas Mark Ballman. And it looks like Luke was born January 15, 1996, passed away February 5, 2015. Young. But they come and visit. Must like to hunt. Turkey and deer. Wow, he's young, handsome man. Wow. So you, Lucas. Then we have a Mark Bowman, young child here. And it looks like he was born June 10th, 1976, and passed on October 3rd, 1994. I like trucks, and he liked his tractors. As a son, as a brother, and being a friend, Mark was the best. Precious. Precious, precious, precious. Wow. Let's go over on this side. That was really sad. I don't like to see the young ones like that. It bothers me. 
Yeah, we have big pine trees and big trees around here. And I think that's why the birds, they're having fun in the trees. They really drive me nuts. I don't know if there's any pictures over here. Let's check. Let's check. You never know. My truck is way down there. <laughs> Let's see. We have Hamby. Mother Marie F. 1909, 1981. She had a good life. Then we have Henderson. Father, 1887, 1972. Precious memories. I like that. And this must be Colleen Smith, December 12, 1984, safe in the arms of Jesus. Must have been with her child. Oh, sad, sad, sad. But yeah, I'm going to do more on my channel, not just cemeteries, because I like to do, like, go to odd things and travel and go to roadside oddities and things like that. But if I do come upon a cemetery, definitely I'll stop. I will definitely stop. I have to go to my grandma's this week. Sometime. I have to visit the grave. Let's see. I can't make that out. <laughs> Not at all. This one has Mary on the top. Nelson, it looks like. 1847-1981. This one here I cannot read. I don't know. And then we have, it's like Grace. Uh, Nelson, 1874 to 1954. Old. Look at all these old. There's old and new. It's just all mixed together. I wonder how much a stone would cost. Like a big one. Like those double hearts. You wonder how much those would cost. My mom had her funeral paid for. Like 20, 10 years before she passed away. Yep. Crazy. Let's see what we got. We have Albert Hoyt died February 9th, 19, or 1889, age 13 years. Wow. Yep. Lots and lots and lots. And not only that, but there's a lot of military in here, too. Oh, a lot of military. Let's see. What we can find. Well, this is pretty. Here we got Sharon Fisher. 1946-2015. A lot of angels. Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> That's cute. Jug, jar, angels. Then it has Bradley Fisher. December 3rd. He was born 1988. Passed away May 12th, 2018. Ooh, loving son, brother, nephew, friend. He died a year after his probably aunt or mother. Wow. And this is Vinny. That's my husband. Passed away. Oh, he was born in 1942 and passed away in 2001. Beautiful. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's check this one out. Sorry. I can't aim at the ground. Oh, look at the ducks. That's cute. Oh, look over here, guys. What's this? Bunnies. <laughs> So we got Tracy Evelyn. Let's see. 2008 to 2000. No, 1908 to 2000. Then Harold B. 1907. 1984. And then we have Betty Lou Gardner. Brewer, May 5th, 1924. March 2nd, 2021. Wow. Crazy, huh? That. I love when people come and visit and they leave little sentimental things up in their, you know what I mean, up in their, uh, or on their stone. Some are empty, you know, but I think most of the time people put little knickknacks and stuff. Like that Pillsbury Doughboy, that was cute. You know, tickles tummy, and you go, hee <laughs> I remember. But anyway, let's go over here. I want to check that pile of dirt out. I want to just, just see what they're doing. I don't know if they're burying somebody or if they're, I don't know. But we're going to walk and talk, okay? That's pretty over there, those hearts. Heart trellises. There's some down there, too, the same almost, but a little smaller. Wow. Hagen, we have Gordon, and we have Lorraine. Gordon was born in 1922 and passed in 1961. And Lorraine was 1924, 2001. Thank you, sir.
I always say thank you to any veteran that has served. I will say thank you all the time. Let's see. No, oh, seems like one side has more pictures than the other side. But like I said, on some of these newer stones, they have like beautiful designs on the back, and you wouldn't you wouldn't think to look on the back. But yeah. Okay, let's go over here by this dirt pile. Shall we? <laughs> I'm afraid to go over there and somebody yell at me. Yeah. I don't know if they're bearing it. Does anybody have any idea what they're doing? Maybe a cemetery. Who is it? Jim? Cemetery business with Jim? No. Oh, he just had a live thing on that thing. Um, what's his name? Gosh darn it, I got a blank in my head. But anyway, he goes and he's a great grave digger. You know who you are. If you are, leave a comment. But yeah, this is what he does for a living. What do they do? Are they burying somebody here? It must be. That's why that's there. Let me know. I'm confused. You would know. Gosh, I'm trying to think of your name. And I'm like drawing a blank. And you just did a live last night. Answering people's questions. And you said Jeep Girl had so many that you couldn't read them all. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's check this out. Papke over there. Jesus is Lord. Schweever. Schweever. Whole family over here is Schweevers. But what caught my eye is this over here. Look at the sayings on these guys. Check this out. I wake up in the morning and realize something very strange. I try to get up, but I cannot. I look down far, far, far down. I realize that I am up, 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 way up. As I'm laying there, I feel something soft. I think I see, I feel, or I feel I see. It's clouds, beautiful blue clouds. I look at them, and to my surprise, there was clouds. I realize that I am walking in God's shoes. As I look down, I see what created beautiful humans. I see some being naughty. I see some behaving. And sure enough, I see people being themselves, having fun. That is cute. Let's see the front of it. Let's see who it is. Shall we? I like that saying. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. God has kept his promise. And the rain and sun. The splendor of seasons. The night when it's done. The day is done. I hope of eternal life which God, who at least not promised before he world began. Amanda Lee. Remember? Kozak. That's her. Wow. She was born December, August 2nd, 1987. Passed in April 13th, 1999. My body lies here, but my spirit's home. I, I love it. Rest in peace, Amanda. Enjoy where you're at. That, I, I like that. That's something I, that really touched me. Because that is true. Oh, we have another one. Roger. We have Roger here, guys. We have Roger here. Roger Rolms. December 23rd, 1943. Then he passed away on September 3rd, 1991. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Wow, is he a handsome young man? Huh? Wow. Here we got Earl. I wonder if it's his dad. We have Earl Wayne Holmes. We have February 28th, 1950. January 9th, 2011. I am blessed in heaven I rest. Rest in peace, Earl. I do. I just, the pictures on there just tells me. Like, I know him now. You know what I mean? You see a picture, it's just sad, though. How many people just die? But yeah, I'm going to be cremated because I do not want to be buried. I would rather be cremated. A lot of people are getting cremated. It's more popular now, I think, than it has ever been. Cremation. Is this a baby? I don't know. Let's see. Nope. Beloved Mother. I like them. Beloved Mother. Joanne C. Howell. Looks like 1939, 1999, 97. Robert and Marjorie. Current. Just amazing. Marjorie Slats. Kneeweiser. 
January 20th, 1913, May 10th, 2003. She is just away. That is beautiful. Absolutely. Okay. I'll wrap it up in a few minutes, guys. I just, like I said, I was on a break. I thought, what the heck? I'll come over here and do a short video on some of these beautiful stones. I mean, this thing goes on for hours. I wish somebody was here with me. One of you could come along and walk with me. That would have been fun. But everybody lives so darn far away. Nobody lives in Wisconsin. Here we go. Another picture. We have our beloved daughter, Nanette Buckingham Isaacs. She was born on August 4th, 1957. Passed away on June 12th, 1997. Look at that smile. Beautiful girl. Young. Very, very young. Is that Garfield? I think so. That's cute. And a yeah, whale. Beautiful. Rest in peace, Nanette. Wow. So many young ones. It just breaks my heart. You know, they're so young. They have a full life ahead of them. But God, like I said, wanted them more than we. Than we have to have. You know what I mean? Oh, let's hear it. We had a little teddy bear. It's like a bear. We had Karen M. Meyer, December 25th. Not around Christmas, born. 1948, February 4th, 2012. Daughter of Urban Lynn William. Or Willem. Wilma, beloved wife, and Richard. Wow. We have Wilma. She was born March 15th, 1923. Died October 9th, 2000. And then we have Irvin. What year was that? 2000. So her, she died before her daughter. Then we have Irvin. November 20th, 1916. Passed away on March 14th, 2014. He died two years after his daughter. Russell, born May 6, 1943, Fort Atkinson, died May 2nd, 19, or 2015, Johnson Creek. Wow. Yeah, it's only like seven miles from here, Johnson Creek. In. And that. All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up. I'm just doing this section today. I might go over to the older sections tomorrow. So they might have pictures over there. But today is my picture day. I just want to see some pictures of who's there. That's my thing. Okay. David L. Sr. Wallet. I love angels. I think it was a carpenter. He's December 23rd. Another another one close Christmas. 1935 and passed away November 17th before Thanksgiving. 2016. Must have been a handy man. David. Beautiful. Just absolutely just. I'm telling you guys. If you were here right now, it's just so peaceful. I'm feeling so calm. So calm. Let's check over here one more time. I love hearts too, but the angels get me. Angels are my favorite thing. Love angels. It looks like we have a roll around. It's like Clarence, 1904 to 1991. Sarah, 1915 to 2000. Married April 30th, 1935. I hope you guys are happily in heaven, enjoying every bit of it. It's beautiful up there. There's a cow. <laughs> Some more hearts. This is just an, a beautiful cemetery. There's a, so many stones, you guys. You can walk here, like I said, for days. Look at these hearts real quick. Wow. Looks like we have love always. Look at this. Look at these stones, guys. They're hearts. You tell me that that's cost some money. Then we have over here the same stones. They're still alive, though. That's just gorgeous. I see a lot of that. People that already picked out their plots and put their stone there. I don't know if I can look at that and say, hey, I'm going to lay there someday. You know what I mean? Oh, we have a Courtney Ray at. Looks like she was born November 30th, 1984. April 20th, 2001, she passed away. Now heaven is blessed with her smile and wit. She must like to swim. Beautiful young girl. Beautiful. Rest in peace, Courtney. Rest in peace. All right, guys.
I'm going to walk towards my truck, and then we're going to call it a day. Like here, they're still alive. That's Hardy. He was a hunt. He's a hunter. She must be a musician. But they're still alive. 1939. That's Phyllis. was 1941. She's born. That's a beautiful stone. But you know what I mean? To pick out your plot and know that someday you're going to be there with your name on it. Or you're walking through a cemetery and you come upon your name. The same name as you. Huh. Now that would be creepy. If you go to an older cemetery. Very pretty stones, I'm telling you. Gorgeous up here. Alright guys, well I'm going to call it a day. We'll find some more pictures this week. We'll go on the other side and see if they have any. And uh, go from there. I love y'all. Thank you for who have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate every bit of it. And, uh, yeah, just hit the like button. And I promise you, I will get better and better and better just for you, okay? I'll leave it right here at this beautiful, beautiful stone. Thanks, guys. Bye.